Success in the music business and entertainment business is all about building positive relationships. In this episode, we're going to listen to a clip and I'll give you five lessons to building positive relationships with booking agents. This clip comes from Mr. Wayne Lee, who was our podcast guest on episode 22 of Making It With Chris G. So let's talk about four tips that Wayne gave us and I'll add a bonus fifth tip on building positive relationships with a booking agent. So tip number one, you have to know who they are, know about them, learn something interesting about them. Remember, they're they're people, right? They're just like trying to build a relationship with someone you want to be friends with. So treat them like a friend and learn something about them that you can find a common interest in. Number two, where are they from? Most booking agents are located in Miami, Nashville, New York, L.A., some in Chicago, some in Denver. However, most of them do not come from those areas. They might be coming from somewhere else. Can you find some kind of common ground or something to talk about with them from, based on their hometown? People love talking about their hometown or where they're from. Whether it's positive stories or negative stories, learn where they're from. Number two, find something in common. Or number three, find something in common. Do they have a favorite sports team? Are they into sports? Are they into movies? Are they watching Netflix binges or Hulu binges or whatever it is? Find out what they're into. Find a common interest in sports or enter- entertainment outside of music. Or find out who their favorite bands are. Find out what got them interested in getting into the music business. And number four, be interested in their bands. If you're getting the agent that has the hot artist that you're trying to book and work with, they probably have some really cool band that they just signed who might be the hot band down the road in the future. You don't know that yet. So find out why they signed this band. What was it about them that got them excited to make them want to work with that band? So those are four lessons from Wayne Lee. The fifth one that I'm going to throw in is pick up the phone and meet them. You're not going to build a relationship over email. So I'm going to tell you a quick story before we go into the clip with Wayne Lee from the podcast interview. There was an agent when I used to work at the Plaza in in Orlando from 2008 to 2012. There was an agent I would email all the time because I really loved his roster and his bands. And I thought they were just a great fit for what we're doing at the Plaza at the time. So after several ignored emails, one day he finally calls me. I'm pumped. I'm excited. I finally got this guy on the phone. I'm not going to call him out, but finally got him on the phone and hoping I get this book some cool shows with him now. And he says, Hey, Chris, I get a lot of emails from you. And I was like, I know you have so many great bands. I really love your roster. Would, would love to work with you. Would love to have you start coming to the plaza. And he replies and he says, Well, Chris, it's really fucking annoying. And I was in shock. And he said, you do not build relationships over email. You build relationships by actually picking up the phone and calling people. I know you exist. I know who you are. I'll be in touch if I have something for you. And that's how it ended. Not a great first conversation with an agent that you've been trying to reach forever. Luckily, everything worked itself out. The first show we booked with him was a slam dunk, sold out show at the Plaza. But again, Building relationships is one of the most important, if not the most important part about the music industry. If you listen to the interview with Kevin Stone, really great interview, by the way. He had a beautiful philosophy on booking shows and promoting concerts. He's the program director and town buyer for the Florida Theater in Jacksonville. And Kevin Stone said he would rather open a venue in wherever. He would rather open a venue with tons of relationships and no money versus opening a venue with a ton of money and no relationships. So let's listen to this clip from Wayne Lee. Um, let's see. Uh, always remember who you're talking to. Kind yeah. of, you know, try to get a background on uh, who they are, where they're from. You right. know, because a lot of folks, you know, yeah, they might live in uh, New York or uh, L.A. or Nashville, but they're generally from somewhere else. Um, mm. a, lot of these, a lot of folks in this industry move around a lot uh, to try to find their niche and try to find out what works for them. Um, 
I'm just kind of like think of it like you know how would you want to get to know a friend you know right. uh, so I mean I like football and you know the, if I know that a particular agent is a fan of a particular football team you know you could always have a conversation right. and, and that friendly conversation about football mm. or sports or whatever else um, you know sometimes you're able to razz them and kind of you know make some cut some deals on on uh, on some bets right uh, <laughs> you know or you know the or, that you're able to say like, hey, I bet you the Saints will beat the, the Bears, and you know, next thing you know, you might be getting a you know a, a couple of uh, deep dish Chicago pizza sent your way and, <laughs> and, and a show. So uh, and a show, yeah. So that, that uh, those things help you out. Um, Absolutely. You know, be interested in their bands. Uh, find out you know who they're working. You always ask them like, hey, what you got coming down the pipe that mm-hmm, you yeah. that you're that you got that you that you think is cool that you're developing because mm-hmm. they're always one of the things like. They're they're into this just as much as you are, and they're mm-hmm. like you know they always feel that you know their job of you know finding and developing new bands you know or, or you know is part of their their uh, their greatness as well. So, Absolutely, you know you always kind of like try to check out like oh dude that's I like that band that's cool right. that's what we can do with them here you know not knowing that you might not ever get a chance to book them but at mm-hmm. least you showed the interest in you know or, or we've tried to put it together mm-hmm. absolutely and you get the uh, that way you kind of you know continue to build that relationship and the stronger those bonds become you know the, you know you get a you're able to kind of like lean on them and kind of come on you know right give me a, a when you know there's a show and it's kind of going you know either way and it's like you know management might want something else but mm-hmm. you know you have the better relationship with the uh, with the agent you know kind of kind of so lean on to get better for to, to go to bat for me here right yeah. yeah absolutely what are some of the biggest challenges you have in working with booking agents um lately now the j- email is mm-hmm. the uh, has become the the, the big uh, the big uh, what do you call it problem? So when I started, email was just people were emailing, but it was like there was still a lot of phone conversations. So right. we got to know people on a more personal level. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, I guess you get a lot of younger agents who are coming up who aren't familiar with maybe familiar with tips and the history of tips because mm-hmm. um, some of those older guys who book shows at tips are now you know they're actually either too big or they're mm-hmm. moving into a different kind of realm of, of, uh, of booking. Um, those kids only know what's kind of cool and hip and house of the, the, the house of blues or, you know, but they don't kind of know like, Hey, your band, their legacy can be like, it once can be built at tips. Right. You know, mm-hmm. it's like, you know, get, uh, you know, think of all the bands that have played here, uh, over the years. And, you know, you can, you could be one of those bands. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Um, uh, so, you know, a the younger set that comes up, not knowing as much about tips, be the the email factor of like not being able to get people on the phone, right? You know, so where it's like everybody just wants to email and yeah. rather than like hey, but like hey, chat it out and like you know that right. fifteen minute conversation is going to save you twenty emails mm-hmm. back and forth, and you could get a better chance to know someone. Hey everyone, if you like what you heard in today's lesson, you can find the link to the full episode in the description of this video. Or you can go on making it with chrisg.com to find all the podcasts, all the interviews, and all the show notes for all the podcasts. You can also go on iTunes, Stitcher, Podcast Addict, wherever podcasts live, and just search making it with Chris G. And we'll see you back again for another lesson next week.